Okay, so I'm starting to get a little bit more into a phase where I bring my critical brain into it because I'm wanting to look at now what I've got and where I want to send these. So I'm going to kind of start working on them in twos, I think. So you'll see some of the twos and maybe not some, but you'll see that I've started to kind of concentrate areas and block out areas. So I've got lots going on in darker tones and then I've got some finer stuff. Um, I've just started to start thinking compositionally where the paint paintings might be wanting to go. That doesn't necessarily mean that's where they'll end up, at, but still, I'm now wanting to head or try and make them head down a certain direction. So I'm probably going to do it even more. I'm going to block out even more. I'm going to concentrate even more um, to do that push and pull that I talked about. I've still got a lot. I'm almost going to take out to see how much I take out before they get, before they're no longer interesting. So, there's just quite a bit going on. So I'm now gonna try and get rid of, take away, not from everywhere, but just from some places. This is a pink. It's actually quite a, um, uh, a transparent-y pink. So I'm, I'll start here and I might come in with a um, more opaque, um, lighter color as well. But I'm just gonna start here first and see what I can take away without losing everything. And I might start defining some shapes to see are they shapes I like, are they things that I wanna continue with even more. Um, I love working with a light, a light tone because, like I say, you, you can really quieten the painting down without going too far, too over the top, and um, getting a sense of what you've got. So, kind of like that shape there. I may not like all of it, but I do like some of it. Uh, and as you can see, I've really kind of concentrated the lighter areas up there. I'll just put a little bit into these areas as well, just to balance it a little. And then I'll do the same here. I wasn't really keen on that area at all, so I'm just going to get a wholesale sweep over that. I still have some of the marks, but they just won't have those colours. I wasn't liking that. This one's a little bit messier for me. So I'll probably do a lot more deleting to see what happy accidents I can create. And then some other little tones there as well. You remember I used the yellow oxide. I'm now going to start mixing the yellow oxide with this pinky color that I brought in. I just swap up my brush. I've been working with this one for a while. It's a very smooth brush, so I'm going to bring in a brush that's not so smooth. Let's see if I can get a few more textures in there. like that one. I 
Now I've gone very opaque. Just really trying to completely get rid of some areas. Wasn't getting calm enough for me. So I'm gonna step it up a bit. It's a real neutral but very opaque color. And you see, that's telling me that I have to let it dry because there's too much of the bleeding happening there. I'll just leave that area a bit. that bit. Look, all I'm thinking of really is quietening. Right now I'm just thinking where can I quieten so it's not so busy so that I can get you to look at the busy areas because it's not busy everywhere. That's where my brain is right now. It's kind of just how much can I get rid of before it starts looking too boring, I guess? Like there's not enough and then I can bring that more back into it. But I'm also not liking some of the stuff like that. So I need that to dry. I might just leave these two. But um, you can kind of see that I'm really starting to concentrate on areas. Um, I don't want to concentrate I don't want to pull them so far apart, but maybe I need to do that in order to see what else I've got. Uh, I'm just looking for a pencil. As I do, I want to pull back in some of the lines that went. Okay, I think that's it for these two. I just gotta put them aside and see where they go.